Facebook is falling here in the pre-market. Social Network reportedly facing a broadening investigation into its sharing of data with the political consultancy Cambridge Analytica. According to the Washington Post, now representatives from the FBI, the SEC, and FTC are all joining the Department of Justice in its inquiries about the two companies and the sharing of personal information of 71 million Americans. And also, according to this article, guys, SEC specifically, it's going to look into the public comments from Facebook around this issue. We heard from Mark Zuckerberg, for instance, apologizing and explaining it to Congress. That's just one of the executives. What did they know? When did they know it? What did they do with that information? And how did they communicate around it? I and, guess are and the what key went into the decision, whatever it was, three years ago when they discovered this, not to disclose it publicly to investors and to the public? Yeah, that, that's the part of it that I think feels a little bit new in this report. Um, you know, the comeback in Facebook stock, I think, probably stunned a lot of people just how dramatic it was. It was up from 152. That was the low in late March, and I believe it bottomed the day that Zuckerberg agreed to testify in mm. Congress and went up to 202. I mean, it was up by a third in value in less than three months into June, and that's backed up just a little bit here below 200. But it seems as if, you know, a lot of people were basing that, that dip buy on the premise that maybe it's an all clear for now. So we'll see if it really develops. I mean, it is an alphabet soup of regulators that are now going yeah. after, and it never, you never want to see that as a shareholder. I guess the question is, What's the worst case scenario here exactly. for Facebook? Is it that they face a bunch of fines? That would seem to be the case. I mean, listen, they've also had to increase their employee count, as we know, to deal with these various things. But frankly, margins don't seem to have really been particularly impacted. And the growth of the company and its ability to keep its subscribers, or its users, they're not subscribers, yeah. sorry, users, of course, <laughs> uh, has not been impacted. And so that's one reason why the stock is maintained. I don't think, well. unless and until you get to a point where it seems like advertising market share sort of moves a little bit and softens up in yeah. Instagram or something, I, you know, it's hard to know that this is going to resonate that much with investors. Not to mention that it. antitrust argument that you started to hear around, for example, Facebook, Amazon, or Google, that Amex decision by the Supreme Court a couple of weeks ago was important in terms of how it came down in, 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 in two-sided markets. There's also no indication that that's what they're looking into. No, not at all. But I just bring it up as another, another risk that has at this point abated a bit, I think, as a result of that decision. S&P tech sector accounting for 102% of year-to-date gains for the S&P 500. Crazy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.